Hey, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. Here we have it installed onto a Subaru Forester that has an inch and a quarter receiver hitch. So I'll go over some of the key features on this rack. For starters, this is a platform hitch rack. So it's supporting the, wheel, the bicycle from the wheels up. So you always have a consistent ride height above the ground. There's uh, no possibility of anything coming in contact with the exhaust. So an excellent choice uh, for many people. This particular design is uh, focusing on keeping the weight down. This, this rack is constructed using primarily aluminum alloy and the entire rack weighs in at about 32 pounds. So what I'll do first is go ahead and take it from this uh, deployed position into the stowed position and remove it so you can see how it actually attaches to the uh, receiver hitch. I'm gonna move it into the stowed position by grabbing the release handle and putting it in the stowed position there. And then I'll take the key and unlock it. And here towards the, the back of the rack, we've got a turn knob that will allow me to pull it out from the receiver. So with it out, I can show you how it's actually held into the receiver. There's an internal wedge, which pushes this ball bearing into the corner of the receiver hitch, giving you a very effective anti-wobble feature, both vertically and horizontally. So to put it back in, you always wanna have it in this right angle, which makes it much easier to, to handle. You drop it onto the bottom of the ledge of the receiver hitch, and then bring it vertical. And as it slides in, you can use your included hitch pin, put that through the, the hitch pin hole, and at that point, you've got it secured inside the hitch pin hole. You'll notice there's lots of movement here. So what I wanna do is pull back to provide a little bit of friction on that, on that pin and then turn this knob. Now that ball bearing is working itself into the corner of the receiver hitch. I like to finish this knob uh, horizontally, just gives you that much more ground clearance. Okay, now you'll notice this, this pin is stiff so it's not gonna jiggle around as much. This hitch pin lock has a weather cover to protect the key entry point. You can go ahead and cover that up and it'll just snap on. If you're gonna use that method, make sure you do have your key so you can take it off too. Okay, so next I wanna show you the clearances. So this rack is designed for vehicles that may have some challenges as far as the clearance. This vehicle, the hitch is flush with the bumper. So that's how most rack manufacturers design their racks to fit, is so that there'll be the correct amount of clearance when the hitch is flush with the bumper. There are some hitches that are deeper inset, and if that's the case, you can fold in these wheel cradles to make the rack even more low profile. And you can see here, you have plenty of room, even if your hitch was inset two, even three inches. Okay, so I'll go ahead and grab that release handle bring it back down into the carrying position and I'll go ahead and load a bike. So to do that, I'm gonna bring this arm back over, press this button inward and extend the arm all the way out. Bring up that cradle and open up the rear wheel ratchet strap. In this case, I have a, a road bike. This rack will accommodate a wide range of bike shapes and sizes, it's not frame dependent at all, it's just merely wheel dependent. So as long as you have a wheel that's anywhere from a 29 inch mountain bike wheel down to a 650 road bike size, this, this rack can accommodate it. It can also accommodate a wide range of tire thicknesses as well. So I'll uh, bring this arm up. There's a small divot at the top of the hook and you wanna align that divot with the tire on the road bike. And so I'll get it in place where this hook is as close to the first point of contact as you can get it without it actually making contact. And once it's there, you wanna pull down as hard as you can to get a good firm grip. Now here towards the back, the rear wheel is resting in a pivoting rear wheel cradle. So it automatically aligns with, with the position. All you have to do is run the strap through the buckle. And you'll notice here we have a semi-rigid ratchet strap. 
On the underside, you have rubber that's molded into the rigid plastic, so you have protection to the rim. It's a very generously, uh, it's very generous in length to get around a wide range of different uh, tire sizes, and and there it's secured in place. Next, I'll show the access position of the rack. So that same lever, I can release it, allow it to come down, and then make sure that your pedal is uh, clear. And here you can see you can open up the rear of the vehicle without any interference with the bicycle. And then to bring it back into the carrying position, just grab the front base, the front plate here, and lift. No need to touch that. Uh, release lever. Lastly, I'll show you security. So we discussed the security of locking the carrier to your hitch. You also have a cable lock that allows you to lock the bicycle to the rack. So I'll take the metal end, go through the loop end, and run that right down here to the lock mechanism. And now you have excellent security. In this case, with just one bike, we have plenty of length to get through both wheels so you have great security for the wheels and the frame if you're carrying two bicycles this may be too short to do that and uh, but you can always supplement with additional uh, security cables if you need to so those are all the key features of the kuat sherpa 2.0 i'm paul with rackoutfitters.com please visit our site for complete details our pricing and our promotions and thanks for watching